The Google certificates are really popular. They're almost too popular. The Microsoft certs are just as good, but an untapped opportunity, which is not going to last forever. But with so many certificates, which one should you pick? So I went on to research the seven best Microsoft certificates in 2025 that can help you both break into a new field as a beginner and upskill yourself for promotions in your job. Starting with number one, we have the Microsoft Project Management Certificate. And when a course says that you can launch your project management career in as little as four months, I just had to check it out. It is one of the fields that pay the most in general, and it comes up to the top 25% of earners in the US. Project managers have an average pay of around 78,000 per year, but they can make a lot more as well. And a project manager's job is very versatile, from communicating with clients and managing people, all with the goal of ensuring a successful project. But can this course help you get a job in four months? I would say no. This is not a reasonable estimate if you have zero project management experience. Project management is very important and you can do a lot of things and screw it up if you're doing it wrong. So they make sure to hire the most qualified candidates. And the feedback on this course has been excellent and the students are doing very good and some students are working with big companies. So even if it's not going to help you break into the field right away, it can still be a great starting point. Next on our list is the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst Professional Certificate. And data analysts are vital to every business. And their main job is to transform data into insights. Now, Power BI is a visualization software that's highly in demand. And in this course, you'll do data analyst tasks specifically using this software. It comes with eight different courses and roughly five months to complete if you spend 10 hours at it at per week. And one unique aspect of this course is that it's going to prepare you for the Microsoft PL300 exam. And it's a real certification by Microsoft, which if you do decide to take it, you'll be a certified data analyst. That's a massive plus on your resume. And in my opinion, this is one of the best data analytics courses on the market. But just make sure that you learn the other skills too, because Power BI in itself is not usually going to be enough to get a job. There are some other skills like SQL that's going to be very important to learn on the side. Next up, we have one of the most interesting certificates on our list, and it's the Microsoft IT Support Specialist. An IT support specialist can earn between 40 to 60k per year as a beginner, and the course takes around three months to complete, so it's actually much faster than Google's option. There are six courses which will give you the necessary skills for your first job in IT. And what I really like about this one is that it focuses on applying rather than just learning because that also makes the course much more valuable to you, but also much more interesting because you can actually apply the things that you learn. So when we do compare it to Google's course, which is probably the most famous one, I would say that it focuses more on Microsoft products. And those are actually very common for companies. And of course, it's Microsoft's own program, so that's why they're focusing on it. But I would also say that since companies are using it, Microsoft definitely has an edge here. Knowing all of the Microsoft tools is very, very helpful when you look for a job. Now at number four, we have the Cloud Support Associate Certification. And things are actually moving to the cloud, whether it's storage, processing, and more. And this simply means that, for example, instead of storing files on different computers and setting up their own servers, companies prefer to store them on a cloud server hosted by companies like Microsoft, Amazon, or Google, who specialize in this. Now the cloud support role is to make cloud solutions work for the companies, investigate customers' issues, and provide technical support whenever needed. And they're specifically focusing on cloud as their kind of field of support. But it's not an easy job and many skills are required to begin. But to make it a little bit easier, they've created this cloud support professional certificate. And they claim to give you job ready skills in as little as six months. And that is because it features 12 different courses that teach beginner skills like cybersecurity, cloud computing, and Azure, and a bunch of other important skills, again, focusing on Microsoft's own products, which is actually an advantage in this case. The reviews of this course has been really positive, but let's be realistic. It's not going to bring a beginner straight to a job. Rather, if you do have some experience in related fields, or if you're planning to move into cloud in the future, this is perfect. But if you are a brand new beginner and you kind of want to explore it, that's also a great option. Just make sure to have realistic expectations, because I've taken courses that had huge promises only to realize later that it wasn't really the case. So I don't want you to feel like that after you take this course, but still a great option. Number five is one of my personal favorites. And with the rise of technology, comes the rise of cybersecurity. From your bank to all sorts of companies, they all need cybersecurity analysts to help protect them against all sorts of digital threats. And to make things interesting, without these analysts, there would be so many loopholes in a company's digital infrastructure that it might not even last a single year. And according to IBM, the average cost of a data breach for a company is around $4.8 million. So there's also a reason why they're paid pretty well, because it can be very expensive for something like that to happen. And the program has nine courses, which will teach you everything from the basics to some more advanced concepts in cyber. But it is made for beginners. 
and it can set you up for a job like junior cybersecurity analyst and a couple of other ones. And the field is super in demand and definitely interesting and very future proof. But also consider that it is technical and hard and it's quite competitive as well. But once you're in, you're in for a great opportunity in cyber. Next is the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals Specialization. And this one is not really focusing on a single job, but rather a general skill that most businesses are looking for if they work with Microsoft tools, which many of them do. This can help you improve in whatever you do. But there are only three courses in the specialization, but still around 70 hours in total, so there's plenty to learn about Microsoft tools. The first one will cover Word and how to use it more efficiently, and then it's going to cover Excel and different spreadsheets. And then the final course is focusing on PowerPoint. So as you can see, you're not going to get a job after this course if you're only taking this one. But that being said, having this on your resume and actually being very proficient in Microsoft ecosystem is a very strong skill to have. Now, number seven is Microsoft Business Analyst Professional Certificate. And this one is really, really exciting in my opinion. And it's one of the highest paying jobs on our list. The average salary is around 85,000 per year, but you can also make a lot more on the high end and at senior levels. Now, as a business analyst, your main job is to collect valuable information and evaluate opportunities to see where a business can improve and technically make more money and do better. They then bring this information to management so they can actually improve the business. And there are six different courses in the specialization. And the first one will cover the fundamentals, and then you'll move over to Microsoft Excel, and then data, business process modeling with Microsoft Visio, and then requirements gathering in business analysis, Microsoft Power Platform, finally, how to deliver a project, and also a kind of a capstone project at the end to put all of your knowledge together in one final project. And it's a great course in my opinion. The one downside is kind of that choosing this one as a beginner and the path that it might take um, is gonna take you a lot of time to land a job since a business analyst often requires you to have some experience, for example, in a business role at a company or some other experience so that you can actually work as a business analyst. But I also made another video with some of the most popular Coursera courses that you might like, not just from Microsoft, but from plenty of other companies as well. And it got some great feedback and I think you would like it. So check it out somewhere on the screen and I'll see you over there.